But the RBA raises its cash rate target 50 basis points to 2.35 percent. That is the red headline uh, as seen by 27 of 30 economists. It was a lot for the RBA to take into consideration. We get some additional lines here in terms of the guidance and a little bit of color on the outlook. They are committed to returning inflation to 2 to 3% over time. Uh, intraday, the Aussie dollar at the moment, uh, a little change. They're also saying they're going to raise rates in months ahead and that they are not on a preset path. That kind of goes in line with what we're seeing from other central banks around the world in terms of being data dependent. The path to achieve inflation growth balance remains narrow and it remains uncertain. With some of these initial lines, let's uh, take a deeper dive and cross straight out to Juliet Sally in Singapore. Jules. Hey, Yusuf. Yeah, a little bit of reaction there you can see in the Aussie dollar, which had been up by about a half of 1% against the greenback earlier in the session, although now pretty pretty flat. So perhaps that had been priced in because, as you say, this was expected, this 50 basis point hike. Uh, what is interesting, as you mentioned, is that the RBA says once again that they are really uh, not on some committed path, but they are really trying to get inflation back to that 2 to 3% target zone. And when you look at the last print, which was at 6.1%, and the expectations that we could actually see uh, an 8% CPI read by the end of the year. You can see why they are moving quite aggressively. They're saying price pressures from demand and the job market capacity constraints remain, uh, but they are expecting that the CPI figure will get to around 3% over 2024. So that's about 2%, uh, two years, I should say, until they get that uh, inflation read to their target. So they say they are committed to do what is necessary to return to that target. Just a slight move there in terms of what you're seeing, the Aussie dollar, not too much reaction. Yusuf.